All right, so, so far we have taken a piece of paper, basic piece of paper, crumpled it up. This is representing our landform. We smoothed it out and we traced the ridge lines. All right, trace the ridge lines so they're nice and colored and we're going to make it rain. In your packet then you should be answering those three questions at the bottom, making your hypothesis. Making your hypothesis. Let's get those questions answered. What do you think will happen to your land when it rains? Try, try and be something eighth graders, not first and second graders when you answer this. Don't say it's going to get wet. Come on. What will happen to the blue ridge lines you colored? Where will the rain water travel? your hypothesis if you're if you're working diligently you should have your three questions answered they're not too challenging all right okay next steps next page please red table cody read the directions step number one use a spray bottle of water to create a rainstorm over your land you want to create gentle sprays of mist. Alright. Number two, pink table proc. No, we are using the black table proc. Observe what happens after every misting. Right. Observe what happens after every misting. And purple table proctor, please. Uh, as your rainfall accumulates, observe the pathways where the excess rainfall travels. So, in just a minute, the getter's going to go and grab a spray bottle. They're on the back counter by the sink. Uh, for the most part, they should be set up in uh, a more of a, a misty rain like this. All right, if they... Pictures. Please don't turn them into squirt guns. Okay, they need to be misty rains. Then, what you want to do then is you're going to take your sheet and... Um, you can kind of leave it, you know, here's mine, it's a little bit puffed up, this one's not quite as puffed up, I didn't like, you know, flatten it out, flatten it out means it shouldn't be like this, right, just 
you know, flatten it out like that. And what you're going to do is, and you do need to make observations as you're spraying it, but then you're going to come over and you're going to gently, right, give it different mistings. <coughs> Just like that, probably just four, maybe five mistings, and then you're going to see enough to understand what's going on there. All right, if you get, if you go too many, if you start going eight, nine, ten, you're going to, you're going to get a really big mess. All right, get her. This could definitely be an art form. All right, once they're done, don't try, don't lift them up or anything like that. Just, just let them sit and move on to the next part, making your observations. Yeah. You got one spray bottle, so you just uh, do, do your sprays. Take mental, mental imagery of what's happening as you're spraying it, and then pass it on to the next person. Okay, you could so be doing your observations. What's going on? Come on, get your whole paper. Get, get, get up above it. Get your whole paper. You're raining on your entire land. Why do you guys have two bottles? I thought it was like two of them. No. Okay, well then get a bottle. observations as you saw it live, what was happening, what kind of things were taking place. Alright, then uh, recorder, you can then take out your device, take four pictures, or three pictures, and then you can send those pictures to your table mates so that they have a picture so that they can do the analyzing to include of this first portion. Alright, so whoever the recorder is, Right, you're data collectors. You take take three, three, four pictures, however many are at your table, with your surface quick. All right, make a good aerial photography. That's what we want. We don't want side view. We want a nice aerial photography. Right. Make sure you put a mental note over who who needs to receive that picture, and then you can email them. All right. Obviously, other people in the group, if you're not getting that email, you know where to go to get your picture of this, right? Your recorder should have a picture of your watershed. Are you doing this right now, sir? So all of them? Yeah. I just want one device out. One, two, three, four pictures. Make sure it's a nice aerial folder. Photograph. Spray mine. Why aren't you spraying yours right here? I did. No, I did. Why'd you move it? I thought the camera was I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Just know who's is who's. No. Just the recorder. Okay. 
good day to be Batman. Do all of Alright, then, the bottom of page six then says answer the questions or complete the activities to analyze and draw conclusions about your data based upon what you're seeing on this first picture. Alright, so that's something you can do outside of class as you answer those things, reflecting on your hypothesis, uh, talking about how the rainfall traveled over your land, where the water collected, and then, then you get a little have, have a little fun with the next part. What we do need to do quickly No, we don't have to do that. You can you're able to do this with your picture. Sorry. All right. Let's turn to page eight now though. Turn to page eight now. Alright, so this is part two. This is part two. So, it says on a fresh sheet of paper, fresh sheet of paper, there's a whole box of it by Catherine if your table is seemingly out of it. Fresh sheet of paper, let's just listen to the directions before we begin. Proctors, read with me, that way I know you know the directions and you can lead your group if they are struggling. Together, on a fresh sheet of paper, draw some of the ways people use the land. Include a house, community, farm, factory, and some streets slash highways. Use the color key below. Color your areas with markers. So brown is going to represent farm. Red is going to represent factory. Black is going to represent houses and streets. Then, in that box, that's when you see those question marks there, that's part of your hypothesizing for each person that you can fill that in there. Step three then, together, crumple this paper and smooth it in the same way you did the first one. Use the blue marker to trace the ridge lines on this paper. Right, so if you use purple or green, that's acceptable, just make sure that you're not using brown, red, or black, right? Keep those colors. So the first thing you're going to do is you got to take a new sheet of paper and you got to draw a community. you got to have a farm in your community. you got to have a factory in your community. you got to have a landfill in your community. you got to have some houses. you got to have some streets. All right? You can just use simple squares for things or triangles. You don't have to have big, fancy mansions that, you know, no Vincent Van Goghs or anything like that. All right? But you can use those colors, right, before you crumple. Draw all those things around, right? So I would put put five or six houses. Draw a nice road or two. Right? Draw this. We do only have about seven minutes for you to draw your picture, crumple it, get your ridges done, spray it all down, and then take your picture so that you can do your analysis of what's going on. You do need to make a hypothesis, so as you're waiting for colors, you could hypothesize what's about to happen, what's going on. So we got about seven minutes before the period ends. So Rebecca, it is being recorded, so okay. you don't understand what's going on. Yeah. We are on, in here, we're on the second part of the lab. So the first part really focused on what a watershed is and how a watershed works. The second part is going to focus on human inter interaction within
let him know how to go. Yeah. Yeah. Part two, we got just a basic picture. All right, we got the three colors the red, the browns for farms, blacks for houses and streets. Okay, right? I'm just gonna watch. I don't know why you're not done with your picture. Mine's done. Look, simple, easy, done. All right? Like I said, we're not making detailed Van Goghs at this time. Here you go. You can do this. You got time. Okay. Once you crumple it up, go ahead and add your ridges. My life of factory is awesome. I'm just gonna do like a nice little. I'm gonna make a mansion. I'm just doing great. Did you take pictures of these for Rebecca to use? Yeah. You did? You did or did? I did. You did. Alright. I'm gonna spray this one down just for the video and then I'm gonna shut down the video.
Watershed part one and part two. All right, so you'll have the analyze and conclude in those sections and our check for understanding. Oh, I was worried. 